Hello, this video is going to show you a quick and easy way to record a video of yourself talking to uh, your students or whoever your presentation is going to go to and drop it into slides in Google very quickly. So for my Stone Age activity, um, instead of typing up directions, I actually just inserted um, a video of myself telling the kids what the directions are for the activity. Here are the directions for today's activity. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and select a slide, any slide. Um, they're all the same. So each one has a Venn diagram on it. And what So now the kids can listen to me tell them the directions instead of um, having them read through a bunch of directions on the Google Slides. And then they can come down and follow what the directions say to do on the Venn diagrams. So the tool that I used is something called Record to Slides. And as you can see right in my slides here, I have a blue video camera that I can click on to create those videos. So in order to get this Chrome extension, I like to just open a tab, click on Apps, and quickly select the web store. You can always Google Record to Slides and it'll uh, Chrome extension and you can find it. Uh, but this is like an easy way. So, and you just put in Record to Slides in the search menu, find it and then just add it to Chrome, add extension. And then um, if I want to, I can pin it up here into my extension bar, but it won't highlight until I actually open a Google Slides uh, because it only works in Google Slides. So if I come back to my uh, Stone Age document, I already have directions in here. So to show you how to do this, maybe you um, have created a, an agenda that you send out to students. And instead of actually just putting the compare and contrast the old and new stone ages in here um, with directions, maybe I just wanna put the directions right in here. So I can actually video these. All I have to do is click my blue icon and I get choices here to anyone, anyone in my domain or I want the video private. Uh, but if you want students to watch it, you'll want them to do anyone in your domain. So when I'm ready, I can actually just click this button. I'm now recording and I can talk to my students and give them the directions that I need them to give. When I'm done, I select the recording button again. It gives me a preview where I can play it back and watch it. If I like it, I can say okay. If I don't like it, I just go back and re-record right there on the spot. And then I say okay. And it will drop the video right into my Google Slides presentation. And then I can select it, move it around. I can resize it if I want to, so I can pop it right in here, um, make it tinier for the kids if I want to keep that in there. If not, I can just have a video of myself there. Um, and this record to slides then also creates a Google Drive folder. So in here I have my record to slides. So any video I've recorded is in here and I, I can actually get the share link for it if I want to, um, play it back, delete them, whatever I wanna do. So I can I actually get a folder right in my drive populated with the Chrome extension. So in here then I can play it back, click this button. I'm now recording and I can talk to my students. And so now I can get a quick video of me talking to my students, um, giving them directions for the assignment, the activity, whatever it is that we're doing. Again, that tool is Record to Slides and very easy to use.